Hello! I'm Elaine, and I'm a tour guide in the French Quarter. I do ghost tours, and I am not going to tell you the stories that I tell on my tour, because you gotta pay for those, but if you want to hear some interesting things that have happened to me while I'm leading random drunk people around the French Quarter, I got you. I know it's been said before, but it really is impressive how much, like toddlers, drunks are. They have big emotions, they fall asleep in places they don't belong, they have accidents both of the wet variety and the tripping over nothing variety, and they are often beautifully, beautifully incoherent. I walked by a group the other night and there was a girl who saw one of the mule buggies and shouted, HORSEY! Exactly like a toddler who's on like a visit to a farm. Then one of her friends shouted, NOT A HORSE, IT'S A MULE! in exactly that tone of voice. Like, seriously, exactly like a younger brother who's angry at his dumb sister. And so the girl responds with, Muley! And even though I could not see them, I know good and damn well she tried to reach out and hug that mule. But tonight I had a group that were great. Uh, some of their members were legit way too drunk to be on this tour, but the bachelorette party were taking care of each other. There were some soberer ones who were responsible and making sure that their drunk friends did not fall over. And there was one girl that, God bless it, need she needed it. Like, she spent the majority of the tour leaning slightly forward. Like, her center of balance was, you know, at the tip of her nose instead of anywhere else. And uh, I had some trainees with me tonight, so they were watching, and one of them commented after the tour, like, I kept thinking that girl was going to fall over. And luckily, one of her friends was with her the entire time, with one arm on her shoulder, making sure she did not end up on the street, no matter how hard she tried. And, like, yeah, there were the expected amount of tr uh, tripping over stuff. At one point, a group of drunk guys walked by and said something vaguely friendly, and suddenly all the bachelorettes were talking to them, and I had to be like, guys... We are sort of in the middle of something. Please focus back on what we're doing and don't talk to the people walking by. Don't talk to strangers. But the moment that is really just the epitome of drunk girl is I was walking uh, down with a couple of the girls and one of them was talking about our sidewalks and how rough they are. And she was like, but have you been to Tombstone? And I was like, yeah, I haven't been to Tombstone, but my company works out of there. And she's like, yeah, they have sidewalks there too, but they're not like these. They're, you know, they're, you know, and that's where she got stuck. And like a record just kept going over that for like what felt like five minutes, but objectively it was probably only a few seconds. But eventually she moves on to be like, and like, I learned when I was there that it's illegal to spit on the sidewalk. And I'm like, okay, that's her point. So I make a joke about like, yeah, I wish it was illegal pe for people to spit on sidewalks here, but no, people do it all the time. And she's like, I'm from the South and like, and then she just sort of stops and I have no idea what to say because I don't know what she's getting at. And so I default to treating her like a toddler and just smile and nod and go, oh, that's interesting. Every single time she breaks, like pauses. And eventually I think she realized she was not making sense because middle sentence, she was literally saying, and they're made of wood. And she looked at me. And then just sort of fell back a step to talk to her friend, and she leaned in, and I heard her say to her friend, I don't think that story made sense. And I, like, I was so firmly reminded of talking to my nephew when he was too young to make coherent sentences, and I'm like, yep, yep, this is exactly like talking to a toddler. So, yeah, if you've ever wondered what it's like to be a ghost tour guide in New Orleans, just, you know, borrow a pack of like five or six toddlers and try to lead them through the street while telling them random stories. It's a lot like that. Don't forget to like and subscribe and feel free to share your own experiences in the comments below.